Hi YouTube, it's Jess. Um, I've tried to record this video twice now and I've just gotten really upset so I'm just trying I really want to make one the night before my surgery I really want to post one from the night before my surgery so I'm going to try third time lucky to get through this um, without getting upset um, firstly I hadn't mentioned before that I'm five foot eight so um, that will sort of affect proportion wise my weight um, and to do the update, um, my gastric bypass will be tomorrow, the 18th of April, 2012. My pre-op starting weight was 155 kilos, which is 341 pounds approximately. Um, and I currently, at the end of my pre-op diet, um, weigh 140 kilos, which is about 309 pounds. So over a month of intensive OptiFast um, with the three OptiFast meals a day plus my two cups of allowable veg, um, I've lost 15 kilos, which is about 32 pounds. Um, my goal for pre-op diet was to lose 20 kilos. That's what my surgeon wanted me to lose. Um, and I am a bit disappointed that I wasn't able to lose the whole 20 kilos, but um, 15 kilos is about 10% of my initial body weight and um, I know once you lose 10% a lot of things improve so the fact that I'm able to have lost that much pre-op is great. Um, sorry there's a bug, I really hate bugs. Um, so, um, yesterday I went on a really nice walk, um, took my dog on this hill that um, I used to be able to do when I was much fitter, um, and it was a real struggle, but I was able to make it to the top. Um, I sort of did that, so each time I do it now, once I recover from my surgery, I'll be able to sort of use that as a um, starting point as well. Um, I've ordered all my post-op vitamins. Um, I think I'll just make another video of that when I get back from the hospital um, to go through each of them because I'm still not 100%. I sort of just ordered what I what seemed to be the correct things that I needed. Um, so I just like to confirm before I show you what I or even before I start taking them. Oh, I'm better now. Um, I was really upset before because. I, whenever anyone was like, oh my gosh, you're getting your surgery, I was just excited and happy and didn't really say to anybody how scared I was. Um, I think part of the reason was I didn't want people to start saying, are you sure you want to do it? It's really serious um, because I am sure I want to do it and I do know that it's really serious but I didn't want to have that conversation with anybody. Um, so I just kept everything positive. And when I went to make this video before, and because it's like a journal style, I obviously, um, it all came out, how upset I was, how scared I was. Um, I think I'll definitely keep the videos um, for myself, but um, it's not a good look, so <laughs> I'll probably just post this one, um, even though this isn't my best, but um, at least this is like an honest um, journal of how I'm feeling. I'm sure that after I get some sleep, I'm glad it's not super early. Some of the other videos I watched, everyone had super early surgeries and I don't do so well super early in the morning. Um, so the fact that my surgery, like I have to be at the hospital 11.30 in the morning and my surgery is about 1, 1.30 in the afternoon um, is good. I want to, I get to have a breakfast shake, so that will be before 7.00. I wasn't going to do it initially, I was going to just fast um, from midnight, but considering how long it will be before I actually get to eat something, I think I 
will like to sort of have that last one. Um, I've decided to go with a banana shake, which um, usually I do coffee for breakfast, but that's the one flavour I think I'm going to miss the most while I'm having ice chips and whatever else. Um, I did get some diet ginger beer um, because I was trying to find diet cordial and I couldn't, so I got diet ginger beer. And I thought if I let it go flat, um, some people were saying mm, if you feel nauseous, it's good to have ginger. Um, I also got some Parade Zero, which has no added sugar um, because some people were saying water is really hard, so I thought if I had the Parade, that might be easier. I'm not even sure if I can have it, but I thought I'd rather bring it. I'm also bringing spring water because when I was, when I had my um, other surgeries, I really don't like the taste of the water. Um, and I think if I'm just having a little bit, I want to enjoy the water. So I got some spring water. Water. Um, and yeah, I just am all packed up now. Um, I've just got a couple of things to put in. Tomorrow morning, um, my mum is taking me down. Um, my dad said he'd stop off after work. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do a video from hospital. I'm probably going to be in there for a while. So I don't think I want one when I'm really out of it because it's not like I'm going to have people there all the time. Um, and if my mum does come and visit, she doesn't really know how to work anything technical anyway. Um, so I'll probably just wait until I feel a bit better, um, if I do make one in hospital, but definitely when I get back, I'll make one then. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate your comments, um, and everyone who's been saying good luck for your surgery and they're thinking of me and sending positive thoughts. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, I also, thanks for my new subscribers, um, Sorry, I was a bit down in this video, um, but I guess that's just how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm sure my next one, I'll be so excited to have had the surgery. Um, I can't believe that my next one could be after having the surgery. Um, I really hope that the ketosis has meant my liver has shrunk a bit so that it's easier for my surgeon. Um, but I will find out as much as I can and then put in as much information as I can in my next video. I'm so glad I got through this and that I'm actually able to post something that I'm not bowling my way for minutes on end. Um, it did go a little bit longer than I'd planned, but I really appreciate you watching. So I, if I don't make one pre-op again at the hospital, I will talk to you guys on the other side i'm sure i'll be fine um my surgeon's really good and i'm happy with my hospital it is part of me just telling myself i'll be fine um i'm sure i'll be fine um so i will talk to you on the other side okay before i cry again i'm gonna press stop thanks for watching bye